Hi, it's Deb with Nature's Nook Children's Toys and Books, and here's your boredom buster for today. Now this one, art play, is probably best for those rainy days or the days that you might be stuck inside and you get the, I'm bored. Our last two books, Bug Hunt and Bird Watch, we're great for taking outside. Now let's look at a boredom buster for inside. Once again, we have a nice hard laminated cover so that it can easily be cleaned. And let's open it up and see what we have. Boredom busters. Um, there's a note for the grown-ups. The book, uh, the activities in this book are intended to spark children's creativity and imagination and build their co uh, confidence as artists. Now, I have always been a crafter, artist, maker. Um, my, my parents were artists and makers and crafters. My father's hobby was carpentry. My mother was an artist. We had gardens. So i had been exposed to it my entire life, but I know some families, this might be a new concept. So just take one activity at a time, break them down. You don't have to do it all at once. But there was one in here that I wanted to show you that I think is a lot of, a lot of fun. Salad spinners. Um, do any of you have a salad spinner? Now I know I do, and I think this is great fun. Now mine doesn't have the rotating hand. I have the old school one with the string that you pull, and then the salad spins to dry. Well, you can put objects in and put some, here, let's go by the steps. Put the blocks in the salad spinner, squeeze the paint onto the blocks, put the lid on, start spinning, and look inside. So you could make these beautiful colored blocks and then afterwards you can build with them, you can do art projects with them. What I use the salad spinner for is I put paper around the inside of the salad spinner. So there's this green part that pulls out and I curve the paper in here. I put the center back, put the glue inside and then I spin it and it splatters the paint on the paper. That looks really cool. You could also cut a round piece of paper and put paint on top and then pull the salad spinner and spin it that way. It's a kind of a easy twist on paint spinning. They have kits for that. Now this one, so when I was a child, I used to love to go underneath the tables. And my daughter did, and my son did. There's just something magical about having a fort underneath the tables. And here, you can become an upside down artist. Now, I would encourage you that if you're doing this, not to use markers. <laughs> what they're using here are chunky paint sticks. And you could use crayons, you could use paint sticks. I have paint sticks, I have crayons um, at the store. So this would be a great way. Now, you see that they're using, you know, like this butcher paper. You don't have to buy expensive paper. You could get um, wrapping paper. If you have old wrapping paper in your closets, typically the back side of that wrapping paper is white. And even if it has that red grid on there of how to fold the paper, put it up there. The kids will have fun. Okay, and then lie on your back and have fun. Now, the tape here, I would use like painter's tape or frog tape so that when you pull it off, you don't damage the furniture. But how fun is that? Okay. Uh, super kid cape. Oh, t-shirt power. I like this. This is great. Up, up, and away. Grown up prep steps over here. And then, look it. You take your t-shirt and you turn it into a superhero cape. Da, 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 da. Now this craft is a little bit more involved, but you can do it if you just go step by step and break it down into little pieces. You don't have to take on a lot at all at one time. And even though this book has lots of activities in it, you could just do one activity. You can use this book for the whole summer. You could use this book for the whole year, or maybe on the days you visit grandma and grandpa. This is your boredom buster for today. Have a great day.